Hello everybody, welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how to install PyCharm on your Ubuntu 19.04. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's start this video. So, first of all, what you're going to do is that you're going to open up your favorite browser, whatever it is, and inside your favorite browser in Google, you're going to search here PyCharm. Okay? So, just hit enter and it is going to take you to uh, the search and on the top of the search here you can see that there is a, a link of PyCharm the Python ID for professional developers and you can see the download link here as well so just click on the download link or you can click on that link as well and uh, it would take you to a page something like this so here you can see that now right now I am on the download page directly but if I would have clicked on this button it would have taken me to the main page and here you can see that on the main page uh, I could see PyCharm here and I can click on the download button from here as well so now uh, I would get to a page something like this and here you can see that my machine is Linux so automatically it has selected uh, this Linux okay so for Mac version and for Windows version you also have the PyCharm available so we'll just keep Linux selected and from here we'll try to download the community version okay so this is a free and open source version that you can download uh, here you have the free trial but later on you have to pay for the professional version of PyCharm so we'll just click on download the community version and we'll click on download and here you can see that we have the message which says thank you for downloading PyCharm and here you can see that uh, we have it it's its size is 372 megabytes we're gonna click on save file we're gonna hit OK and now uh, it would basically start to download it so we'll wait Alright, so once it is downloaded, the download has completed, all you have to do is that you have to go to the location where it has been downloaded. And here you can see that PyCharm is in the tar format. So there are basically two ways in which you can uh, unzip it. Either you go to your terminal and you try the tar command or untar command, or you just, you know, right click on it and you just click on extract here. So this is the simplest way. To extract a file uh, a tar file you can see that now tar.gz file has been extracted so once you have extracted it uh, you go inside this PyCharm community folder and here you see different folders so the most important folder here is bin folder okay that's uh, where we need to go so we click on bin folder and in here we have this PyCharm.sh script that we want to run in order to install PyCharm. Okay, so you have to open up your terminal and you have to come inside this folder. Or uh, what you can do is that you can right click on it and you can uh, click on this open in terminal. So once you click on it, it would take you directly to the bin folder. Okay. And now if I ls right here, you can see I have this pycharm.sh and I have executable permissions as well. I can tell because the color is like this. If you would have not any executable permissions, you would have pycharm.sh, something like that. Okay. So now what you're going to do is that you are going to... Uh, just clear it and you're going to run your script which is essentially pycharm.sh so now here you can see that you have this uh, thing here so it says import pycharm settings um, we have this configure or installation folder option here as well obviously we don't uh, want to install or configure something because we're installing it for the first time but if you if you already have the settings that you want to import it or you want to specify the installation folder you can do that but i would select this option to not import settings and i will click ok and now you can see that this is like pycharm uh, little screen here and this is the agreement so you can go through it 
and then finally you can click on I confirm that I have read and accept the terms of this user agreement and then click on continue when you will click on continue you would have an option here send usage statistics so just click on it if you want to if you don't want to send this usage statistics you can obviously press no and here you have different themes you, that you can select either you can select the Dracula one or you can select the light one okay whichever you like I like this white one more so I would just you know keep it that way um, and from here you can uh, either select the skip skip remaining and set default which means that it would skip uh, the rest of the steps and it would basically set them default or you can basically click on next and uh, here you can see that it says create a script for opening files and projects from the command line you can basically do that or you can just click on skip remaining and set defaults and that's what we're gonna do so for now uh, the next step was about plugins and for now we're not going to talk about plugins here so uh, definitely we'll do that in another video maybe on our website so here what we're going to do is that we're going to wait and you can see that we have the welcome to pycharm uh, window here okay so all you have to do is that you have to click on create new project and obviously our pycharm has been successfully installed which was the main purpose of our video and after the installation of PyCharm we're going to show you how to create a project as well so here you can see that the location of the project is slash home slash Linux sent which is our username slash PyCharm projects which is a directory essentially and then you can basically create here hello uh, something like this okay and just click on create and it would basically create a project for you so you can see that it is now loading the components of um, hello project okay inside PyCharm and this is our little welcome to PyCharm 2019.3.1 uh, window and here you can see that it is basically creating a virtual environment for our PyCharm so it will wait and if you have used Android Studio, uh, you must be able to see that uh, it is quite similar to the Android Studio, right? Uh, all the style and all the design. So you can go to the next step. Um, you can skip through tips and you can uh, watch them. You can learn from them if you want to. So I'll close it for now. So this is our Python project. And obviously, it's like kind of an empty here right now. So we don't have any uh, Python file here. So just click on new and you know, you have to right click on it and then you go to new and here you can see that we have a Python file option. So click on that and uh, here you have three options, a Python unit test, Python stub. We are going to keep it as Python file, right? And the name of the Python file would be, let's call it, um you know first program okay so now you don't need to write your dot by extension because uh, if that is a python file essentially it's going to assign that extension to this first program by itself okay so you hit enter and now you can see that your first program dot py file has been created successfully so you can write here uh, print and you can write here my first program hello okay so now you have done that and uh, in order to run this uh, script on your computer what you're gonna do is that you're gonna right click here and you're gonna go to run first program so just click on it and you can see that my first program hello uh, it has been run successfully so the Python version have to be installed on your system either it is Python 3 or it is it is Python 7 uh, Python 2.7 so here you can see that now the first program has been selected and each time I can make a change in this program uh, I can run it you know just from this screen button right here all right so let's say that I just call it my first program and I am excited.
okay so i can just click on this green button and here you can see that the output has changed okay so yeah that's it from here and if you close it if you exit it here you can see um, that each time you want to run it you can basically run it by uh, using that command that I have shown you and you can see that all the history whatever you were doing uh, it's been displayed and it's been recorded in the terminal as well the command was that you go inside the bin folder and you write uh, you run this pycharm.sh script all right so let's say in case you don't want to run this um, uh, you can go here and you can search for pycharm in the applications here as well uh, and if it's not there then there is a way to do that so you can see that I cannot really see PyCharm here so in order to get PyCharm in my application tab all I have to do is that I have to run my PyCharm.sh script and when I run it it would basically open up the PyCharm IDE and inside the PyCharm, I, PyCharm I, IDE I would go to the uh, tools option and inside the tools option i would select uh by charm to be on our uh, desktop or maybe uh, under our application tab and when i would select that and after that even if i close the by charm window i'd be able to access it uh, with one click okay instead of going through all those hazel uh, you know going through folders and then basically running the script to run the uh, PyCharm IDE, uh, you know, it is kind of a difficult task. So you want it to be like, you know, on your fingertips. So for that, what you want to do is that you're going to go to your tools tab, click on it. And uh, when you click on it, you would have an option here, create desktop entry. So just click on it and create the entry for all users, you know, um, just click OK. Uh, it is going to ask you for the password just put in your password and you're all done so now the entry you can see that it says desktop entry created so now uh, exit it uh, go right ahead and uh, if you go here on your desktop right here um, go inside the applications and search here by charm and you'd be able to see this little pie charm icon here on your uh, you know application tab or show applications and uh, when you'd click on it it would basically launch the pie charm IDE for you okay so hope you have got the point you have enjoyed this video uh, if you have any questions ask us in the comments below and uh, if you want to get access to our written articles they are freely available on our website linuxin.com hope you have enjoyed today's video for such content keep liking our videos thank you so much for watching